Facts First presents Police pull mother over when they see her son's face. They ask him to get out of the car. When you see stories on the news or on social media of a person getting pulled over, it's often one of two things. In some cases, the person who was pulled over has done something serious like maybe drunk driving or driving recklessly. In other cases, the police are a bit more harsh than they should be, and it gives police officers a bad name when they're caught on video doing that kind of stuff. Well, this situation occurred in August of 2018, and it's actually a happy story. Before we get into the video, though, please tell others that you're watching Facts Verse by clicking that like button. And also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Adrian Hudson and her seven-year-old son Jacob were driving home one night to their home in McKinney, Texas. When they were close to home, the police pulled up behind the car and turned on their lights. Adrian was being pulled over. She was a bit nervous, but she knew that she really hadn't done anything wrong, so she wasn't too worried. She assumed that maybe she had a taillight out or something simple like that. While Adrian wasn't all that worried about being pulled over, Jacob was. It's common for kids to get afraid when their parents get pulled over, and it was even worse for Jacob. He suffers from a disorder called Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorder Associated with Streptococcal Infections, or PANDAS for short. The symptoms of his condition include Tourette Syndrome kind of symptoms, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, Memory Loss, Separation Anxiety, Hyperactivity, and Increased Anxiety During Scary Situations, which apparently this was. When the police pulled him over, Jacob sat in the back seat, worried. When the officer started writing Adrian a ticket, Jacob began to panic. Even though he saw that his mother was calm, he wasn't. The officer saw that Jacob was scared. The officer had no idea that the boy had a medical condition that was causing him to overreact to this situation. But still, they did want to calm him down. After the ticket was written, the officer leaned into the car and asked Jacob his name. When Jacob answered, the officer asked him how old he was. When Jacob responded to that, he still seemed extremely nervous. The officer asked Jacob if he liked police cars. Jacob told him that, yeah, he did. The officer offered to let Jacob take a look at the inside of the police car. Jacob started to calm down a bit after seeing that his mother wasn't in any serious trouble. Next, the officer offered to let Jacob sit inside the car with him. The officer and Jacob's mother took pictures of the boy by smiling, enjoying his time playing around with the police officer. While Jacob sat in the police car, it helped to calm his anxiety, and it wasn't long before he was completely calm and ready to head home. On the way home, Jacob told his mother that police officers were his heroes. He also told her that he wanted to have a police-themed birthday party and that one day he wanted to be a police officer himself. Well, when Adrienne got home, she posted the photos and the video that she took of her son and the officers. She wanted people to see that the police can be really kind and caring. Adrienne understands that, you know, at times police do get a bad rap, and she wanted people to know that there are also other officers out there who do care about people that they are sworn to protect. Adrienne's post got a lot of attention, as did the officer in the video, and it wasn't long before her post went viral. Hundreds of thousands of people shared the post. Many more liked it and commented on it. Most of the people who commented said that they were happy that there's somebody out there willing to show the good side of police officers rather than people just trying to get the bad stuff out there on social media. The officers who pulled Adrian over had no idea that her son suffered from a medical condition. They saw that he was worried and anxious, and they took the time out of their day to calm his fears a bit. It's good to know that there are police officers in this world who honestly do care. Here at Facts First, we salute our men and women in blue. Subscribe for more!